Hi, in this video I'm going to show you uh, another way to draw straight lines uh, using two different methods. We've already seen in a previous video how to use absolute and how to use relative coordinates. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a thing called polar coordinates. Now polar coordinates are used to draw lines going at angles or lines going on slopes. And there's a couple of things you need to remember for this. The first thing is that in AutoCAD all the angles are measured anti-clockwise. The second thing is you need to use the less than symbol. Now the less than symbol uh, is just above the right hand side of your spacebar on your keyboard. It's a button on your key keyboard. So with polar coordinates we have to work off um, a kind of a clock face like this if you like where zero degrees is directly to the right hand side. So if we have a line started here in the center of this uh, kind of shape, uh, if we tell the computer to draw it at zero degrees, the line will go over to the right hand side. And as I said, it goes anti-clockwise. So if we were here and we wanted to draw a line straight up the page, we would tell the computer to draw a line using an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so that's the two things you have to remember. It, right is zero and it goes anti-clockwise. How this looks then, if we were to look at this particular shape here, uh, this one now combines a few different things. With this one, we've got an absolute coordinate up here for our starting point. We've got relative coordinates to control these straight lines. And down at this point here is where we've got our first polar coordinate. You can see that this line needs to be drawn down at 225 degrees. The 115 here represents the length of the line and the at symbol is used just like before. So I'm going to start off with uh, this drawing and I'll, I'll talk you through it as I go. So back here on my command line I type in L and enter because I want to start a new line and my starting point is going to be at a point called 70 comma 230. So 70 comma 230 and enter and you can see my line has started up there. Now if I go back and look at my diagram I need to draw over here 220 millimeters so I'm using my relative coordinates here I'm going at 220 to the right comma zero up or down the screen so in here that looks like at right down here at 220 comma zero and enter and that has drawn a horizontal line 220 millimeters to the right if I look at my next step now I need to go down the screen not left and right at all, so that's why I've got a zero in here. Add zero left and right, comma, minus 70, because I want to go down the screen. So back in here, at zero, comma, minus 70, and enter, and it draws a vertical line. Now this is the first point where I've got to look at putting in a polar coordinate. Remember there are a couple of components to the polar coordinate. You've got the at symbol, which controls the length of this line. It's 115 millimeters long. And you've got the less than symbol which precedes the angle 225. Remember that from this point here the angle is measured anti-clockwise so if I if I put in zero there I would draw a line straight over here to the right. If I put in 90 it would go straight up. If I put in 180 it would go over to the left but I'm putting in 225 so it's going down here. If I go back to this wheel you can see how the 225 looks there. So I'm going to go at 115 less than 225. So down here at 115, then the less than symbol, you can see it there, 225 and enter. And that has drawn a line 115 units long at an angle of 225 degrees. Let's look at the next bit. It's a relative coordinate, 60 millimeters to the left and no millimeters up and down. So back in here I go at minus 60, comma, 0 and enter. And it's drawn a line 60 mil to the left. I've got one more polar coordinate to put in here, so we'll have a look at how that is now. I need to draw this 115 units long and at an angle of 135. Now again, remember, I'm at this point. Zero of an angle would be over to the right. 90 of an angle would be straight up. And 135 is over there. So again, if we look back over here, you can see the 135 there. So I need to draw a line 115 units long at an angle of 135. So down here I, go, I put in at 115 for the length of the line, less than 135 for the angle, and press enter. Now at that point there 
I've got a couple of options. What I need to do is close the shape back to the starting point. And if you look up here, it has a little uh, clue for you there that as you're drawing a line, you can press the letter C and enter to close back to where you started. And you've also got an option to do that down here on the command line. So close. If I press that button, it will close it back to where I started and end the command. So let's have a look at that. If I click on here with my left mouse button, it's closed it back to where I began. So that's uh, how to use the polar coordinates.